right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. Certainly, he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well. And stylistically, sweet, 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 sweet. all time. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, Great he fight. will handle the action Great. inside the octagon. And we are underway. Great punch. These guys are moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Left hook to the head. Oh, and he caught the kick. Blocks the shot. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Clean punch. Pretty good counter right. Try to establish that jab. Nice knee there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Continue to go to the head. Just misses with the straight right. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice jab by Perry. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. And right now, it's starting to show. Oh, 
Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Straight right hand, no good. Leg kick lands. Oh, going for the takedown here. Big right. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not gonna recognize him. His nose is getting all sweat. I mean, he's getting better. It's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. His boxer is way too good to try to react to the shot opposed to get the head of him. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Beautiful block there. Harry's swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Perry. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. And he's back to his feet, good sign for him there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. He landed it perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, what a round, how good was that? All right, so there's the horn. It's amazing to think we got here, given how many times he rocked his opponent there in the previous round. Almost looked like a glorified sparring session, given how dominant he was. Yeah, it just looked like one guy that was much better than the other guy. He was hurting him every time he landed, and it's a testament to his ability and his accuracy in the stand-up. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Is that a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He checked that last one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good night if that landed. 
Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Oh, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Great job blocking that punch. Looking to land the leg kick now. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nasty cut on his nose. Well, straight right hand. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Massive head kick. Oh, that's a big right hand that got through. Gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. Oh, this is some high-level efficient effect. Ground and pound by Platinum Mike Perry. Uh -huh. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Relentless pressure from the top by Perry. Two rounds in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Just where you left off last time. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Well, most fighters can't keep 
up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Harry's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside physician. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Immediately gets the underhook. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he's got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has... Oh! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bulldog. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.